Okay, so are you able to see the screen? The screen is visible. Can you see yes, it? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the topic is how to speak on any topic. Many times you are not prepared on any topic and you are offered to speak, offer on the stage to deliver your speech. And, but you're not prepared, so how do you speak on that topic? So that moment you need to apply some tricks and techniques. If you have those tricks and techniques, you can speak. And if you have some idea, you don't have more idea, then only you can, then, then also you can speak for the long time for at, at least 15 or 30 minutes, you can speak. Okay, so what all the tricks and techniques we have, so we would be discussing all these things. And before delivering the speech, you need to prepare something, some more things like uh, you should be well dressed, you should be very much uh, attractive, like uh, your hair should be combed well, and uh, your hand movements and all and everything. And uh, if you want to build up more confidence, you can keep something in your hand, like you can keep any pen, or you can keep any marker, or you can keep any duster, or anything that can make your personality attractive and that can build up your confidence. If you have something in your hand and you're delivering a speech, so definitely you'd be having some confidence and audience would be paying more attention on you. All right, so generally what happened that when speakers, those who speak on the stage so that uh, they have something on their hand and uh, by those object, those things, audience can have more attention on that speaker. So that is the advantage of having something on your hand. Okay, so that is all about the preparation before the topic. And uh, if you are a speaker, if you are already a speaker, you are called or invited as a guest host. So you should approach to that place where you have to deliver your speech and you need to check all the stage, entire stage and the place where you have to uh, give your speech and your microphone and your headphone and all and everything you need to check. Okay. And the audience also, and you must know the, what kind of audience are there. If audience are already aware about the topic, the topic which you are going to speak. So you need to be more smart. And many times audience are not aware about the topic. So that mean if you are forgetting the idea, so you can divert the topic, you can speak something else because audience, they are not aware about the topic. So in that way, you can be a smarter, okay? So that's all about the something which is related to the topic when you're going to speak before stage. Now we are moving to the next slide. The screen is visible. Okay, now the thing is this, whenever you are going to speak something on the stage or you are offered to deliver your speech. So very first start with any kind of saying or quotations or quotes, you can use it, right? Before speaking anything, go on the stage and start speaking about any saying. If you are delivering any saying that can have more attentions of the audience because audience will think that what he's talking about Maybe there would be some uh, like a special formula of the life of the topic like that. So that is the advantage of speaking about any kind of sayings or quotes. So I've written some quotes here. You can watch those quotes. So a few quotes I have written, this kind of quotations, this kind of saying you can select from the internet and just remember cram those sayings. Those sayings should be in your mind and make sure that you are not going to forget this kind of things. Just to just remember three, four things and uh, all the time, whatever topics you are given, you can choose any kind of saying and you start speaking on that topic. So the thing is about, it's about the life. If you are given a topic about the life, you can speak this kind of saying, or you can choose other things. If you look at what you have in your life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in your life, you'll never have enough. That's written by Oprah Winfrey. You must be knowing who is Oprah Winfrey. So you can use this kind of saying. And after that, 
you can explain about that saying because you have chosen you are speaking about that saying so you must be knowing what this saying is talking about you can explain it so it will take around three four five minutes for explaining that saying okay so in that way you have covered around five minutes but you have not prepared but still you have spoken till five minutes about that saying okay next we are moving some other sayings i have written you can watch it always remember that you are absolutely unique just like everyone else so you can explain it that you are unique you are marvelous you are fantastic you can appreciate the audience by using this kind of saying if you are using if you are speaking so that means you are building a confidence in the audience among the public so few more sayings we have just read and understand if you are able to remember these link these things in your mind if you are to keep these things in your mind so that would be good and you can also take some more things from the internet which are easy and simple and you can speak you can remember the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched they must be felt with the heart so if you're talking about the love you're talking about so this kind of saying it's a universal saying you can fit this kind of saying any on any kind of topic whether you're talking about the friendship love or like uh, beautiful or nature or anything universe if you are giving any kind of topic you can fit this kind of saying anywhere some other sayings we have okay this is very famous sayings there is nothing either good or bad but thinking makes it good that's very simple and another we have handsome is as handsome does so the person who are smart who always do with the smartness so in this world you know very well that every coin has two aspects two part one is good or one is bad so this is your own perception this is your own thought that makes it good or bad if you are taking if you are something something is as a good so you would be talking about that thing good and if you accept that something as a bad so you would be explaining that thing is bad so this is only your thoughts mm-hmm. your perceptions which can explain your this. mindset your yeah, mindset that can be said exactly your mindset can be said okay so william shakespeare has told about this uh, saying and you can explain that way suppose you are given a topic then you can explain that way there is nothing either good or bad in this world it's your only perception that makes it good or bad it's your only thoughts so that's told by william shakespeare you can also explain uh, tell the name of that writer if you are able to remember if you don't remember so that's okay stay stay positive yeah exactly yeah. of course we need to be positive all the times when you are delivering your speech so you must be positive all the time and then only you can build up the positivity among the people if you are positive then you can explain if you are explaining some bringing some negative topics or some negative things so definitely you would be filling the stuffing the negative thoughts among the people okay after explaining your saying and uh, quotations you have already covered around 5 or 6 minutes then you need to introduce yourself you can explain about yourself whatever you have experience in that field your name or your family background and you have also realized one thing that whenever any kind of public speaker is going to deliver a speech so he always tells that my background was not good i was very poor my father was so poor my mother was so poor like that okay so you can also explain like in that way means nobody knows about your background so like who was your father who was your mother nobody knows no nobody can judge you nobody can understand you that what you are earlier okay you can say that i was so poor my education was not so good and i was not strong financially like that okay so in that way you can exaggerate yourself you can explain about yourself miss audience would be surprised that now you are in very good position you are uh, giving a marvelous spe- speech on this stage and you were so poor you were not uh, that much financially uh, strong and now you are rich so you can make the audience surprised by speaking like that even that's a depend upon the audience they are believing of course the audience would believe on you because you are at that place where uh people came to listen to you and they have spend the money sometime uh 
this kind of shows are paid so they have paid the money so that's why they would believe on you okay so yeah once you believe once you believe in yourself people definitely will believe in you mm -hmm. yeah okay after introducing yourself then you can introduce the topic the topic which you are given so how much you know about the topic you can explain it you can tell about the topic first of all introduce the topic then what all the things you need to explain so we are moving to the next slide you can watch okay so after explaining the topic you can okay i would reach to you stephen just wait for some time just to, let me complete it it will not take more time okay after explaining your topic then you can raise some questions okay the question related to your topic or you can also and or you can also you raise mm -hmm. okay let me talk to you first of all all right yes who was speaking yeah shadab here i've just Hi, shadab. Right, uh, for topic uh, right now so can you brief uh, some topics today okay topic. i told you just let me complete it okay okay we'll get everything all the things are there all right yes stephen do you have any question uh yes actually um i wanted to find out uh, how long do you think uh is suitable to spend on talking about uh uh ourselves i mean talking about yourself how see, many minutes should it take see there isn't there isn't any kind of specific time that how many minutes you can speak about yourself okay uh that's a kind of scenario that can that can be said as that how much you can entertain your audience okay that's depend upon you that if you have some specific some special or some entertaining story related to yourself you must explain it if you have some positive story related to yourself you must explain it okay whether it will take 15 minutes 5 minutes or 30 minutes getting miss you are making yourself as a brand you are going to sell yourself so you must explain you must deliver all the qualities which you have whether you have that quality or not but the thing is that you are a seller you are going to sell yourself okay sometimes you need to tell about fictitious qualities which are not real but you have to make yourself as a brand so you have to tell all the fictitious things but for that manner you must have that level of confidence if you don't have that level of confidence so people will not pay attention on you they will say that yeah he's just like tom dick and harry okay just like a common person when you are on the stage so you are not a common person you are some special person you have a special personality you are legends you are icon got it stephen just raj what just a minute uh, yeah thank you mm -hmm. uh, also i would like to thank you i would like to thank you because um this is the second time i'm joining your meeting and honestly it has really helped me uh fine tuning my my way of using zoom raise some questions so first of all you need to raise some questions from the topic just pick 3 4 5 question and you can raise the question and you can ask the questions to the audience sometime people from the audience they will stand and they will explain the answer or sometime they will not answer so that when you can answer of those questions okay then explain the topic then again you have to explain the topic first you have introduced the topic what is the name of that topic then you would be raising some questions then you would be explaining the topic okay so this is the way of delivering your speech on the stage on the stage or among the people or sometimes we have few people but if you have formal way systematical way of speaking so it would be more good means you can have attention of everyone okay so now we are moving to the next slide okay now the thing is this after explaining your topic just learn 3 4 fives at least to four motivational stories okay those stories should be in your mind all the time and just to practice a lot speaking about those motivational stories in your home in your leisure time or free time 
just speak about those motivational stories and what all the questions can be raised from those stories and what all the best answer could be given the questions raised from that motivational stories because motivational stories can uh, uh, like uh, entertain the audience because everybody loves listening to stories if it's, and because they in a story there are suspenses there are uh, like uh, some drama sometimes they have fun in the motivational stories and sometimes there are a lot of things to learn okay shivam your voice is breaking shivam your voice is breaking you can do one thing you can uh, text the question in the chat box okay i would reach you right let me explain it will take only 10 minutes to complete the entire thing then we'll be having question and answer fine shivam till the time you can text your question in the chat box so just learn three four motivational story next we are moving to the next slide yes no yes right okay now after explaining your motivational story then you can have some interaction with audience you can ask some questions or you can ask names and about their family background about their jobs and what is their future front what is your their objective of their life what they want to do in your, their life so you can ask this kind of questions to the audience people okay so that audience would understand that yeah this this person is taking some interest on me like you know if any person who is a speaker who has good great personality and he is going to ask some questions to you or he has some interest asking something to you so you would be becoming the fan of that person suppose you are at a place where any celebrity or any actor came and he start asking to you or he start interacting with you so you would be becoming fan of that actor so that same thing happen with a speaker if he's interacting with you so you would be having a great uh, respect for that speaker or you would be having great uh, can be said as a a dignity or good words and you would appreciate that person so this is the way to have great connectivity with the audience you know what is the meaning of public speaking or uh, public speaking the only word is connecting with people how fast you are making going to make a connection among the people connection in the sense that you have made a connection with all the people who are sitting in front of you so that is the characteristics of the public speaking if you have this kind of quality that you can make connectivity with everyone so that means you are a great speaker and if you are not a make if you are not able to make a connectivity with the audience that means you don't have that kind of quality of making a uh, connectivity with people you are not a good speaker people would not listen you would not be paying attention on you whatever you are speaking so these are the things by which you can make uh connectivity with people people you can have attention of the audience by interacting with them and sometimes you can create some fun sometimes you can create some jokes you can crack some jokes so that audience can have relaxed they can be calm and many times if you if the program or a speech is longer one hour or 45 minutes or two hours so audience would feel uh, bored they will not liking to listen you more so that moment you can have some fun you can crack some jokes you can crack some stories so that they can be relaxed once you make the audience laugh that means your job is over if you have ability to make some uh, jokes or you can create some humors among the people so that means you are a great speaker so these are the skill these are the some these are the qualities of a speaker great speaker now we are moving to the next slide okay at last tell the advantage or disadvantage of the topic the topic which you are going to speak or you are delivering so you must explain advantages and disadvantages okay advantages of course they are in a positive sense okay means everything would be good if you talking about the advantages but if you are telling the disadvantages so disadvantages should be in the form of positive so make sure these things that what you are going to speak if you are speaking the negative things negative thoughts about the topics so like uh, people would not be approaching you so disadvantage should be there but in the form of 
positiveness okay then some do's and don'ts you must be knowing what about about the do's and don'ts do's and don'ts are also advantages and disadvantages it's only the naming which i have given advantages and disadvantages the next we have next slide we have okay now so these are some questions some topic these are not the questions these are some topics for discussion so you'll be discussing these kind of topics in your breakout room and the first one we have money is important or happiness you can explain according to you which is more important money or happiness and life without mobile phone internal beauty versus external beauty internal beauty means your thoughts your behavior your nature external beauty means how much smart beautiful you are financial freedom so many times people they have a lot of loans right. and mortgages like that all right so how they can be free from their financials then the topic which we have corruptions relationship relation between discipline and success hard work versus luck importance of english language and vegetarian food okay three o we have you can remove one o from here or non vegetarian food job or business so these are the questions topics we have so you will be discussing okay. these topics in your breakout room all right okay yeah okay, now, got Stephen, it. now you have any questions till the time i'm going to create a breakout room thank you thank you sir uh thanks more it's always a pleasure to meet you too uh actually i sent um, a question in the comment section uh i would like you to elaborate a little bit about how important is the body language i mean relating to uh, the topic thank you mm -hmm. just wait body language who would like to answer this question um can i go can i answer this question sure sure yeah of course body language is like the 70% of message that we convey to other person right like even like the conversation we have with other person is important but that not that much the most of the message we convey is by our body language you know our anger even if we don't say anything we even can convey a lot of messages by just our uh, body language so it's important it's important in even uh, in our daily life we meet people it's important uh, if somehow we have uh, not a good body language some people even misunderstood like that that person is not interested in talking with me because of wrong body posture and you know wrong body language right even like in interview it's really really important in interviews they notice a lot about body language so yeah one person should have good command on body language so that it can convey properly and everything about it thank you very much usman for explaining thank about you. the body language now let me tell you why body language is important and how you can uh bring your gesture and posture while delivering a speech or when you are interacting with someone when you are speaking with someone so that moment very first you must have entire command over your language over your topic and content what you are going to speak if you have entire content in your mind your hand movements will move itself got it your head your body entire movements will move itself if you don't have command if you don't have idea about the topic miss you would be watching here and there and like that you would start thinking and you would be picking something else and you start watching the faces of the people and you start watching the books and all and everything everywhere if you don't have idea about the topic like that okay so you cannot control your body because you're not prepared that happens you might have experienced this thing in your school life when your friend or you are not prepared the teacher is asking question that have you prepared this question is asking the question and you're not prepared so you would watch the face of that teacher you would pause uh, you might have seen the face of your friends and you might get some indications from your friend that at least somebody tells the answer of that questions okay the same thing yeah. happen when you are delivering a speech in front of public and you're not prepared you don't have contents in your mind then of course you cannot have strong body body movements and if you are prepared your body will move itself it's that's a natural things 
okay that is natural but there are some things you can find you can get all these things from the internet and from my youtube channel i have also uploaded a lot of videos about the body language and voice modulation and sound you can watch all these things i have told a lot of things about the body language so many things are there you can watch entire thing you can get it but if you have already good command over on your topics so no need to pay attention your body language okay it will come itself yeah <clears throat> Thank you. Any other questions? Please, would you please share those questions in our chat box? Yeah, sure. For discussion. Sure. Thank sure. you. Let me get the questions. We are okay. Diana, you are saying you are. Do you want to ask something? Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me chance to ask you. And also thank you for nice uh, topic today, how to speak in front of the people. But the thing is that, uh, can you advise me or uh, give me suggestion how to overcome whenever I want to, sp uh, I want to start speak like, uh, yeah, at that time immediately I have a nervousness, how to overcome nervous when I start, uh, when I start to speak in front of the people, even though uh, the people is a familiar to me, but yeah, actually, I don't know. At that time, I feel nervousness for a little bit. So, so how to overcome this situation? <laughs> Thank you. When you when you are going to interact or whether the person is familiar to you, but still you feel nervousness. Very first, just listen your friend carefully. Okay, just listen carefully everything, every word what is asking, what the question is asking, or what you are going to discuss. Just listen. Okay, do not uh, be hurry. Okay, very calm and comfortable. And don't feel that you have less time. Do not feel. Just think that you have a lot of time. You have a lot of time, you can answer, you can speak. Okay, first of all, preserve all these things in your mind. Then take a long breath like that. Just hold on for one or two seconds, three seconds, then relax. Do like that. Like that. Okay? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and after that, Just inhale after and that, exhale. whatever ideas you have in your mind about the topic, how much you know. If you don't have any idea in your mind, just listen your friend carefully and the words, what he's delivering, pick the words and add those words with your life's events. Okay. At least you know about yourself, whatever happened in your life, you know about those things. Okay. Just mm -hmm. explain about that event. And that's it. You can tell the story of your friend. You can tell the story of your father, mother, you can tell the story of your daughter or son, uh, anybody's story. That's it. Job is done. Got yes, it? Sir, got when it. you when you don't <laughs> yes, have sir. any idea, when you don't have any idea, when you don't when you don't have to say speak something like that. Okay. And if you have idea, so that's very good thing. You can speak slowly. Do not speak fast. Don't speak fast. Speak slowly. Okay. It will come yes, sir. Thank you. by practicing. <laughs> you cannot mm -hmm. achieve all these things one day or in a two day. Okay. And Still, if you are not able to get the confidence, if you feel nervousness, so I'll tell you one way. Just choose three, four, five topics, easy topics on which you can speak. Just write down and cram it, learn it. Okay, then mm -hmm. start speaking, then start discussing on that topic only. For Just do this thing for one or two weeks on the same topic, mm -hmm. on the same topic. Why I'm saying speak on the same topic once you build up the confidence on speaking on those topics which you have already prepared, once you have built up the confidence of speaking, because you have already learned it, you have crammed it, all the points are in your mind because you have learned everything. Okay. So of course, it's obvious that you have that much of confidence. You can speak continuous. Okay. Once you build up the confidence after that, if you would be given any new topic, you could also speak with confidence. So these are the steps to build up your confidence. Got it? Did you get yes, that? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Got it. Yeah, okay. I yeah. try it. Thank you. Now I'm going to move. Uh, I want to add break. some little things. Please. Can I add some add something in it? Yeah, please. Yeah, this add. question is also related about confidence, and you know what comes first in this nervousness is that fear. Fear is the biggest thing that stops you, you know, from talking or whatever. So, like the fear, you have to overcome that fear. For this fear, fear is comes because of many reasons. Maybe you have a reason that what will people say about me, that my English is really poor. If I will talk, people will laugh or something like that. <laughs> These all are weird ideas, weird thinkings in our mind, which is actually totally untrue. It's not true at all. People, nobody cares about you that much, that you, you just think about this. But if you just skip this thinking and just forget about this fear what people will think about me and i think like you can achieve good confidence and you will not have any nervousness okay, thank anymore. you Usman. thank you thank you very much now guys we need to take up one more picture because all the participants are here please turn on your camera i request you please turn on your camera all the guys turn on your camera fast Dina, what happened? I'm so sorry uh, for that now, sir. I don't properly. I <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much, Sukriya, for the opportunity to me to speak about this house. Uh, today, you you put many questions that have to choose, like money, uh, money or happiness, or uh, job or business, or relation uh hard work or lack and internal beauty or external beauty actually i don't fit in that in that equation because we can't why we must choose a uh uh if we can have both of them like maybe uh internal beauty and external beauty it's totally a hard question when we are discussed in mm -hmm. in the in this nine break room uh room uh like something in the professional we must even in, uh, in like in the pandemic right now, we, we must to uh, prepare, uh, have a good looking to uh, meet the client or meet uh, our lecture or meet uh, uh, relations that connected to the professional field. So in something that internal beauty is also important if, uh, especially if we need to engage with uh, someone who need to have a long-term relation like a best friend or also maybe partner for life or maybe um uh i mean that a uh, mentor for life so yeah i think both of them is important we, we can be either of them we cannot choose like yeah mm. uh, especially at that point so that's all for me thank you very much for giving me thank you very much aditya speak. for speaking now the thing is this i have chosen some controversial topic you know if somebody is saying that now internal video is very important so other person should follow or say that external beauty is important if both are saying same thing like i'm saying that internal beauty is important and you are also saying that internal beauty is important so we cannot do more conversation we cannot make conversation interesting okay and if you are saying that external beauty is important i'm saying the internal beauty is important so definitely you would be proving your own point i would be proving my own points in this way we can have some debate we can fight with each other Okay, not that kind of fight. Okay, by the words. Yes, I admit, I don't want to wait. <laughs> okay, got it. So that is why we have chosen this kind of topic. It's like other person would be favoring something and you would be favoring some different things. So we can have some conversation that maybe that may that can become interesting. So that is a that is why the reason that I have chosen this kind of term. Sometimes we need to choose this kind of topic so that we can do some uh, debate. We can do some argument. Got it. Okay, so now yes. Anita, thank your you turn much. to speak. Welcome, Anita. Then Shivam. Then Mr. Devedi. Um, so I I would love to speak first. Uh, speaking in public, or uh, it can be uh not much crowd and it can be uh, in front of few people. So people are has to think it is a natural thing 
uh, in our uh, we just born uh, with this all our uh, quality so it is a very uh, simple and natural so without practice and with our self improvement uh, can do anything in our life mm -hmm. so yeah we should practice but uh, one thing most important if we will go to speak in front of some people few people or it can be crowd and it can be like so uh, we should think like that no one is there no one is there uh, we are just talking with ourselves and we are just experiencing ourselves so we should think like that so it's also uh, very helpful i think so and that way we can accelerate to think more if we will thinking like okay, okay many people in in front of me so how the words uh, can't come inside from inside so it is bad thing uh, so we should think like means no one is there we can speak loud uh, no one is uh, they are too more fast to uh, made up one of us so we should think like that Okay, and uh, there is uh, today we discussed uh, many things and top uh, it, all questions uh, are different and uh, internal beauty, external beauty. It's also important for us. Both is important. We talk and we did fun a lot uh, uh, by talking and we exchanging our things and actually this also related to our this topic to this topic that question, particular that question. It's like internal beauty and external beauty. This is a part of our discipline, uh, internal beauty, and which uh, today I uh, shared in the, in the first part uh, in this talk in Zoom meeting. So it's actually related, uh, somewhat it's related. So uh, today, uh, that way also, I learned something new uh, to this topic. Uh, I can relate that question, internal beauty and external. Both is important, but uh, to internal beauty, we and we can enhance our external beauty too. But if we are uh, only have internal external beauty and from inside we are blank, so it is not working for everyone. So, so everything is matter, but depends on us how means we are just. Uh, handle ourselves so i prefer internal beauty and how we can enhance our internal beauty through learning way and through learning way we can enhance our external beauty also so thank, thank you. you very much anita for speaking about internal beauty now mr divedi you can speak then shivam yeah good evening to everybody first of all i want to tender my sincere apology to arun sir during discussion, I bit argue, <laughs> argued with uh, him. Are, no problem, and sir. I no think problem. I hurt him. Sorry, sorry, Arun, <laughs> sir. Sorry, very. Are, no okay. problem, sir. Don't okay. worry. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> okay. Number two, we discuss very relevant topic. It's a very good uh, topic for group discussion. Number one, internal beauty versus external beauty. Okay. My problem was ki I can't contradict anybody because my number was always second. Suppose third put, then I'll contradict other while giving valid relevant point. But for me, internal beauty is more important because of the reason I mentioned there. It's a forever. External beauty is only for timing. It will disappear with the age of with age or with accident or any calamity. But internal beauty is forever. If anybody is brave, he is a brave. Till his death. If anybody is honest, he is honest till his death. Then corruption, regarding corruption, I discussed corruption for me, corruption is the root cause of all evil. And it's the biggest black stigma for mankind. All problem started all starvation because a lot of third world countries poor because of corruption. Their ruler spoil all their money, whatever supposed to. Uh, he is spent on welfare activity and for upliftment of people. So, uh, and also in past also, if you'll see history, big, uh, through corruption only, developed country at that time make a slave, maximum country. They somehow uh, play the game of money with uh, people, local people, and get PA. Number three was uh, their key happiness versus money. For me, Happiness is more important because if money is there, 
but you are not happy uh, not happy since you are not happy will your health will not be good and you can't enjoy anything without money also you can our indian philosophy is there we will enjoy in jungle also we will enjoy everywhere with the family i seen lot of family poor family they are happily talking in evening with all the family members and they are enjoying a lot but lot of happy money people who have money they are very afraid that they will lose the money they have no time for the family they have no time for food there is not discipline even they don't time for go anywhere outside in all the topic we our i forget the name of those who organized the year but she was very brilliant she uh, conducted a class very well thank you sir from my thank side thank you mr devedi for speaking just mr shivam now it's your turn to speak uh thanks for uh, the opportunity every 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 topic very uh, fantastic fabulous and each and every is topic is connected with my heart and uh, yes yeah, uh, that day uh, sir like we are like this uh, in my opinion that we are human animal if we don't like if we did to learn uh, from uh, my our parents and like we have to go to school so we uh, will be you know human uh, like uh, animals human animals not will be uh, like human like shivam excuse me shivam like, excuse me you can do one thing your voice is breaking okay, sir. your voice is breaking okay. you can do one thing yeah now that's clear yes yeah, sir now you can speak yes yeah, sir uh, yeah sir uh okay so i was just saying that uh, if we didn't go to school and we we didn't uh, like get uh, ethics our uh, from our pa- parents or family, so we will uh, you know a human animals not we will become a good human and we will have sense of humor so uh, according to the topic if i talk about uh, happiness versus uh, like money so i will go to definitely happiness because happiness will uh, give you everything like you established like a uh, your relationship you established your like friendship everything like you can like uh, you can get a uh, good sleep as well as uh, on your bed but you only have money so you can just uh, like uh, can buy luxurious thing you can survive your life with uh, like everything but you can't survive like uh, uh, in practical moment we we will not we will, you will not able to uh, moment uh, enjoy your uh, present moment as well as so uh, that thing uh, i want to share and uh, Uh, corruption if i talk about corruption so corruption is anywhere like if i talk about a uh, family so family it is correct it is in correction in school it is in correction uh, corruption and uh, anywhere it like uh, it's a uh, it's a surrounding it's corruption if uh, anybody don't want to uh, like work uh, which i which i want to do uh, that so i will you know give sir uh, money that people and that people will uh, you know do sir uh, easily so everything is uh, like a garden citizen and i will go to sir definitely uh, intel beauty intel beauty is more important uh, like we can establish our uh, you know the friendship or like uh, anything and it uh, will it live long and it will be forever it's not like a uh, uh, we cannot connect with the other person with the uh, only external beauty intel beauty like uh, you know sir uh, uh, most of people they have very good uh, like uh, beauty and they are like appearance very good but they don't have like uh, how to weigh how to talk the person mm-hmm. and uh, like uh, uh, they don't good, good have uh, do they don't have a sense of good human uh, humor so uh, that's kind of things that we don't want to talk that person so i will go to definitely of uh, internal beauty yeah okay thank you thank very you. much thank you i don't thank want to take much. more time sir <laughs> thank you that's okay yes mr alam now you can speak mr alam then yes sir thank you stephen yeah yes please go thank ahead. you very much sir for give, for giving me opportunity and you know i want to say something about today's topics and day by day we are become super surprised by selecting this kind of innovative talk 
topics and you know uh, all of the participants are describing all of the things but i want to tell something from the out of the box and you know i like it because this topics is something like this uh, as you mentioned earlier you know is correlated or different from one chapter to another chapter uh, so first question is money or happiness both are important but uh, at least uh, i want to tell all of you that this kind of discussion is really helpful and we are really able to make a figure out uh, we are able to create a figure out a way how to solve any kind of situation i think this, this is the gist point this is the functional point of today's topic so i uh, thanks to all of the participants those are really um, discussed with uh, in the breakout room and today's for the first time we have completed all the questions so thank you very much for arranging this kind of arrangement yeah uh, thanks to the all of the participants and day by day i feel my development and that's the end from my side thank you very much sir thank you very much mr alam now stephen stephen then amit stephen are you here uh yeah hmm, please Speak I'm with about you. your conversation, which you have done in your breakout room. Uh, uh, we had um, we had a lovely conversation. We actually did discuss. Um, we didn't discuss all the topics, but we were into uh, a lot of them. And uh, I don't have much to say because uh, we almost agreed on everything. Uh, uh, you are muted. Please unmute. I'm not on the position. Um, uh talking about internal and external beauty uh because we all agree that internal beauty is the most important thing and it um overshadows uh, ex uh, internal beauty is the most important thing and it overshadows um external beauty but uh i have to say that there's no one walking around with an x-ray so it's hard to see internal beauty at um uh at first sight that first impression is everything when you meet somebody. Uh, talking about corruption, uh, I said that um, if there's corruption, then there is a corrupted because one person alone cannot do corruption. So we have to reach as human being a level of integrity to not accept money that is fraudulent and to not agree with money laundry. In that way, we can eradicate corruption in our different and our various countries. Um, well, I forgot a bit uh, the different topics that we actually discussed, but there's there's one question that I ask, and if you want, um, I want to share that with you. I think it was about uh, financial independence. Uh, mm -hmm. In most countries, and especially in Africa, uh, I, I said there is one, I don't know if I can call it a position, but there's what we call housewives. Uh, these are women who do not have work and they stay at home catering for the family. And most of the time it's understood and accepted. And my question was to the ladies, can you marry a man who does not have a work, who doesn't earn money, and was a house husband, if I can frame it like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the question is really a different question. Can a woman marry with a man who doesn't have any work? He can only provide the happiness. So we'll discuss this question in the next sessions. Okay, so now who was supposed to speak? Amit. Yes, me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Amit, then add you I am order. totally agree with the. Uh, yes, I am totally. I am totally agree with the uh, internal beauty is important, but in twenty first century it's not important. Uh, external beauty is more important in twenty first century. By uh, by external beauty, most of the celebrities are are making uh, more money by 
by selling their faces even most of the brands company company using using celebrity faces to to sell their own 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 company 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 products so i think external beauty is more important you can also also see in own in own environment or or society like uh, most of the boys are uh, 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 like most of the boys and the men are running behind the the girls by seeing external beauty not for the internal beauty mm-hmm. so so uh, so uh, so how can you say inter- internal internal beauty is uh, more important if uh, uh, if internal beauty is important uh, so uh, so every man uh, so every man and the boys should be check uh, check all the talk uh, with the girls to check the internal beauty but in this time no one want to check uh, check uh, his na- uh, no one want to check her nature they only uh, see his figure and impressed with that girl so 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 i think external beauty is important even most of the boyfriend uh, uh, kick uh, uh, kick uh, his girlfriend by uh, by seeing uh, internal by seeing external beauty when mm-hmm. they are rejected they are not okay azita do you want to say something unmute yourself first of all uh, thanks uh, amit shah for your honestly Uh, it was ve- i was very surprised because most of men in this um, meeting say no internal beauty is very important but uh, you are so honest person yes i agree totally i agree with you as a yeah. woman i think both of them is very important both of them are important but internal beauty is more important because um, for a, for a first time when you make a day uh, with some person at the first thing you attractive about that is um, external beauty it, it's it's as a fact you have to accept it and after that yes maybe um, you make uh, you uh, have a date with uh, some person that um, they are so very be- beautiful or handsome but um, when you talk with him and Uh, with him or with uh, or her and you know about uh, his or her thoughts so you think uh, you don't like um, uh, um, you don't like um, make uh, another date with him it's, it's correct it's, it's okay but uh, sometimes yes uh, sometimes you see one person is not um, it doesn't have um, a lot of it doesn't has um, beauty in ex- uh, in external beauty but when you uh, talk with uh, him or her you uh, you know about his thought and you think oh he, he is good person it's okay it's honestly and it's reality we have to accept it and uh, we have to we have to see both of them as, uh, of this uh, uh, this uh, point of view yeah i think i agree with you thanks for your honest thank you thank you thank you very Welcome. much azita everybody is saying that internal beauty is important internal beauty is important but the thing is that when <laughs> it comes the matter of marriage or other things so we always follow the external beauty why we always go for the brand clothes brand shoes and brand every time we always follow the brands okay yes arun you want to say something arun then dina uh, uh good evening sir good evening uh first of all um, i'm regret that, that joining your meeting uh, so few few meetings are there uh, i left everything mm-hmm. okay uh, my question uh, my uh, i'm saying that uh, there are so many questions good good question from your side uh, but i like one question sir job or business mm-hmm. that's the main question now 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 this period uh, i'm doing business and uh, but uh, now i need to do some job and all i'm searching for that uh, it will very it, it was very good uh, question from your side and uh, first of first question is very good yeah, money is so important is or happiness or money yeah yeah all us uh, all us very good uh, 
uh, and regret with uh, Ms. Devery. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm regret for that, uh, whatever we say that, uh, right? And it's okay, we will. We are discussing everything. We, I, I, I say my opinion, you say your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. That's it, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Arun. Uh, just Dina. Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me a chance. Uh, I just have a question to you all, maybe. Uh, to be honest, uh, all, not all the questions have been uh, answered in our breakout room. So now I would like to answer, I would like to ask about the vegetarian. Who is the vegetarian in this uh, main, 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 main room? I think uh, like uh, maybe you are as uh, one of the vegetarians, sir. And the next question is uh, what the experience uh, due to the vegetarian, uh, like uh, being a vegetarian. That's it. Thank you. I'm also vegetarian, madam, Sanjay Devedi. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because you know what? Uh, I wish one day I, I want to be a vegetarian, I think so, but I don't know. So that's why I'm asking you, what is the, in, your experience due to the vegetarian? Thank you. Uh, in, in India, a <laughs> lot of... Yeah, in India, a lot of, I think, 30% yes, of the Yes, that's why. Yes, uh, exactly. Less. Yeah, thank you. Okay, did you, Dana, you. Uh, did, you get the, yeah. did you get the answer? Okay, being a vegetarian, yeah, yeah, what is like the advantage? To, I would like to... I would like to know a little bit from from your side uh, what your what is your opinion due to the vegetarian because I haven't yet any more about this. Mm -hmm. uh, the sir, thing is that one question to vegetarian, please. Uh, how come you guys don't eat chicken and you eat egg? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, few. There are three category: egalitarian, <laughs> vegetarian, non-vegetarian. But I am vegetarian only. I am not egalitarian also. And I'm talking about 30% of population not taking egg also. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. you have very good fertile fertile land is there. Mm -hmm. Agriculture is very good here. We are producing a lot of crops. What protein is required, we take from milk. We are very fond of milk. We worship cow. Buffalo is also we are petting. And a lot of milk. Milk culture is too much. There in Europe and Africa, you people are lactose intolerance. But we people are very fond of it. It suited us very much. So whatever protein or mineral you are getting from non-veg, you are getting from protein. And a lot of grains in gram and barley, it is very much available in India. And in US, it's very costly. But here, it's not so much costly. We are taking very good protein substitute in place of meat and chicken. And equally, we are strong also. We are not very, we are very much strong, sharp. Mm -hmm. And very good player also, wrestler also you produce. You are winning medals in Olympic, SCR, uh, Commonwealth game. So that's why. So nothing harm for us. I mm -hmm. feel absolutely all right. Yeah, exactly. And everybody, uh, thank you from my side. Exactly. Actually, the thing is this, vegetarian, not vegetarian, it's only all about the taste. Many people, they like non veg it's about the taste and protein. Yeah, of course, I do agree with it, with this that there is a protein. But if somebody is not liking the non veg, he likes the animals, so definitely he would not be liking to eat any kind of animals, whether it has good taste or not. Okay. And yes, of course, we can get a lot of protein from the vegetarian also. And that is more good for our health, for our eyes and all. And if somebody is eating more non veg so definitely he can get a lot of diseases, a lot of problems, fats and all and everything. So after that, you have to move to the doctor. But if you are vegetarian, complete vegetarians, you're not taking any kind of uh, like non veg So you would be more healthy. You would be fit. And you know, fats these days, if you have fats, you can get a lot of diseases. And if you are eating a lot of chickens and muttons and like that. Okay, non veg. So of course, you have to do a lot of exercises. You have to burn your calories. For that manner, you have to spend a lot of time. So in this way, you can waste your time by burning your calories this all the time. So at least at least one or two hours you have to spend for exercising. All right. And if somebody is only vegetarian, 
So he was doing only 15 minutes or 30 minutes of exercise, or he still is doing only yoga and meditation. So that's sufficient for him. So he doesn't need to do any kind of uh, like heavy exercises. He would be more fit. Okay, thank you very much for asking these questions. Yes, Adi, it's your turn. Are you vegetarian, speak. sir? Yeah. Are you vegetarian, sir? No, I am not a vegetarian, but I'm not very much fond of eating non veg. Hardly okay. twi- once in a two months. In two months, mm-hmm. hardly I enjoy one time. Not every time, like once in a month, or twice in a month, and that's it. Yes, Adi, Okay, Ardo. yeah, mostly vegetarian, yeah? Mostly, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. tend to vegetarian. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to try it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good yeah. being as a vegetarian. That's a very good. Yes, Eduardo. Yes, yes. I know it. it. Yeah, there, there are some people who are vegetarian because they have pity on dead animals in order to become our meal. Yeah, but another people are vegetarian for another reason because meat meat is considered a food that is harder to digest than kind of vegetables, for example. Yeah, yeah, I I am non-vegetarian. I eat both vegetables and, and another kinds of food from animals, yeah, yeah, but, but, but sometimes we can miss some kind of protein if we don't eat meat, for, for example, and so we, it's good for our health when we eat meat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay, thank you, Eduardo, for speaking. Yes. Now, is there anyone else wants to say something? Because now it's time to end the meeting. At last, anyone wants to say something related to topic or apart from topic or anything? Okay, guys. So thank you very much for joining our meeting. Thank and you, sir. Thanks a lot.